Hi there, my name is Caitlin. I'm a holistic nutrition consultant and the author of a blog called grassfedgirl.com. I've been healing my Hashimoto's for over 10 years with an ancestral diet and most recently the carnivore diet has been helping me for the past four years. That's what I talk about on my channel, so if it sounds helpful, please stay tuned. Today, we're going to be talking about my top five carnivore meals. I'm so excited to share with you my top five carnivore meals that I eat every day on rotation. So stay tuned all the way to the end to see my top five carnivore meals. I just got home from a trip and I wanted to show you what I eat in a day, getting back on track with my carnivore diet after a big vacation. This is some New York strips. We're gonna grill these and it's gonna be delish. Put some salt on these and let the grill get really hot. And I'm gonna cook them about five minutes on each side. So you want it to be up it was probably 500 before it's it opened. been five minutes. We're gonna flip. Okay, it's all ready. Got some little hands ready to eat. <laughs> okay, so I did five minutes on the first side and three minutes on the second side. And look, it's pretty good to me. Mm. Delish. Gigi's gonna do a taste test. <laughs> Cut in the middle so we can see the middle. Show me the hair. Yeah. A little bit pink. Good. Yeah. What do you think, Gigi? It's wonderful. One of my top meals on a carnivore diet is a New York strip or ribeye. So I kind of eat these interchangeably. They're wonderful, always. And I just get them whatever's on sale at my local Kroger. Yeah. One of my favorite meals is burgers. It's always a consistent meal on a carnivore diet. You can always just cook up really quick. And I like to keep these are from Costco. They're Kirkland and they're very affordable and they're frozen so they never go bad. Here's my burgers cooking up. I'm not that hungry. So I'm just gonna cook one for me and one for my baby. And he might not eat it at all, but. So these are always ready. I just do a couple minutes on each side. Salt on them. Put some very gold butter in my pan. This is a carbon steel pan. It's a really nice, very non-toxic. I cook up today. I try to get the best eggs that I can. They're on sale. My carry gold butter. <laughs> I blend the eggs in the blender. So they would get really nice and soft. Add them to the pan. Look how, look how non-stick this is. It's amazing. And always use like a silicone or stainless steel or something. Don't use that black plastic stuff. Look how it's going so good. And this is not Teflon. Look how good it comes out. Almost nothing in there. And this is, I just added a little salt, that's all. Delish, butter and salt. Good morning, I just got up and I made scrambled eggs. Baby loves scrambled eggs too. He usually has two or three. And I try to put the thank butter you. or ghee. Thank you. <laughs> Saying thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I try to get pastured eggs. <laughs> He's taking mine. What's wrong? What's wrong with yours? What's wrong with yours, huh? Hey, hi, we hi. try to get outside every morning and play or walk out in the neighborhood. Today we're in the yard and I'm doing a workout. I'm out here doing a workout and we try to get outside every day and play or walk or work out something early in the morning because it's very hot here.
One of my other favorite meals on carnivore is chicken wings. So you get some chicken wings from the store. They can be fresh or frozen. And I like to put a little bit of spices on them and usually cook them in the air fryer or you can bake them mm. in the oven. So you wanna put them on some parchment paper and then you just wanna dry off any excess moisture and sprinkle them with some salt. And I'll put them on convection. So if you put it on 425, it'll be on 400. Then I would cook them for about 45 minutes, just depending on how many you have, maybe. I have like two pounds, so 45 minutes. And then you're gonna broil them for five minutes at the now end. Now you wanna switch it to broil. The broiler is on. So about five minutes on broil. Here's the chicken wings, all done. I broiled them for about five minutes and I cooked them for about 45 minutes on 400 before that. I hope this looks good okay. to you. Taste test. Yum. <laughs> Another option is to melt some butter and mix some hot sauce with it and coat the wings thoroughly. This is delicious and satisfying. And if you like hot, this is right up your alley. One of my last favorite meals is the ground beef with eggs. So I put ground beef, if you have some lean beef, this is a great way to make it not so lean. I hate beef that's too lean. So you have ground beef and you have eggs. So you just put your eggs in the ground beef and it makes it amazing. So I'm just gonna throw in my ground beef. I have the 90-10 here, which I don't really like. That's why I'm gonna add the eggs. Get your skillet really hot. This is a big cast iron skillet. I have my helper down here. <laughs> and add a bunch of salt to it. You need about one teaspoon of salt for every pound of meat. So you just want to break it up a little bit. My helper here. Let's see if we... So I've got my eggs. Oh. <laughs> got my eggs. I'm going to do four in this. All right, let's do it together. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. There you go. Good. Let's see if we can whip it up. Turn it fast. Faster. <laughs> now, you see it's all beaten up. And we're trying to keep our hands out of it. <laughs> Almost cooked. So when all the pink is gone, you're gonna add the, the eggs. Add the eggs in. Woo! So you're just gonna keep stirring it. You see it's getting there. It's almost done. So when it looks doesn't look wet anymore, you wanna take it off. cooked. See how it's pretty dry? But not too dry. Alright, and then you put it on your plate. And then you can always add cheese if you like cheese. I don't I try not to eat much cheese because it makes me gain weight. But there you go. You can always do more eggs. I do maybe do six eggs next time. But you could do half a pound of ground beef and four eggs or you could do eight eggs. I mean, it's just up to you however much eggs you like. So this is another one of my favorite meals. Wait, it's hot. Mm, okay, let's try it. Mm. Really, really good. Mm. Noah loves this meal too. Thanks so much for watching my top five carnivore meals. I hope that was really helpful. Let me know what are your top five carnivore meals down in the description box. Make sure to get my carnivore diet ebook. It's 182 pages, all about how to do the carnivore diet the right way and have meal plans, shopping lists, how to deal with special occasions and dealing with your family and your spouse and 42 FAQs. So get it right here at wwwcarnivore 30in Thanks so much for watching. Please share with a friend, subscribe, leave a comment down below. It really helps get the word out how ancestral nutrition and meat-based diets will help heal the world. Thanks so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.